And welcome back everyone, I am the Zember89 and I just fucking woke up. So um, yeah, felt like playing some Time Gentleman, please. Gotta get that Hitler. Yeah, last time he killed this poor professor dude. Poor guy. Can we take his blood? I want that blood. Blood. Now we can put it in the flask. Perfect. <coughs> Lovely. Below, the hip flask is now full of robot blood. Or oil. Yes, or oil. Now, let's go to the time rip because this has uh, widened a bit. See what's up? What's up? <clears throat> Whoa. I recognize this place. Yeah. It's a weird co coincidence that Pal's house is on the exact spot where the warehouse will one day stand. Not really. We hadn't traveled far geographically when we gave that Tamagotchi to Pal's inventor, remember? So it makes sense that his house would be in the same place, see? Adventures in time have to th Oh, you have to think four-dimensionally, Dan. I know, Dan, it's tough. It's tough even for me, apparently. <laughs> I can't grasp the notion. Traveling through that cow was an uncomfortable enough ride the first time. Now it's dead. I can't imagine it's worth the effort. Maybe there's a superhero through there. Whose power is reanimating the dead! And another whose special talent is reversing brainwashing! Then we wouldn't have to go back in time to fix everything. I don't think so, man. All their superpowers were shit, remember? Oh yeah. Besides, there's no electricity to keep the dimension portal running. Without people around to burn coal and turning into lightning or whatever. Yeah, that's how it works. Damn this dystopian future. It's riddled with problems. Who knew we'd turn out to be both evil and inept? Yeah, that's pretty much the case, dude. I can't get through there anymore. Okay. All the power went off after everyone died. Seems to have shut down. And it's boarded up. And it's boarded up. With those boards in place, we're going nowhere. Damn it, boards! Why are you always in the way? Do we have something to remove you with? How about using... What else do we have? Do we have... Is this a grater? When did we get that? Examine. It's a file. Oh, okay. I have the map. I have the pin. It's just a pin. It's nothing but a pin. Okay. What do we have here? Dino dimension. Dino mansion. Yes, yes, we all remember that joke. It's pretty good, though. Doorway through the annoying hidden room. Let's go there, since I can't really figure out where else to go. Go, 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 go. Why you no go? God damn it. Okay, 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 ooh. Oh man, I just noticed this says, buy gibbage, six pounds. We should have known. How embarrassing. Future me is some sort of marketing genius. Even though Gibbage is now a very reasonable three pounds. So what? Future U is such a genius that he gets the price of his own products wrong? And then advertises them to himself? You're right. Future me is a twat. To be honest, present you is a bit of a twat too. True enough. Okay. Lift call button. What do we need to use? Huh. Pressy? There's no power. And I guess left my Gordon Freeman style crowbar at home. Why? Why didn't you bring any of the old junk with you? Said Dan. Yes, they would have come really fucking in handy. I have no idea, just left them in a cardboard box. Yeah, okay. No, it doesn't. You suck. Yeah, okay, we heard this already. What can we use, though? Huh. 
Dead man's arm? I don't think so. What is this? Ultra boring storage jar. Okay. Well, I have no idea, really. Palace house. Spaceship! Spaceman. Palace house. Oh, oh. We have Nazi dinosaurs now. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, come on. Come on. No, don't examine it. Small, sneaky slippings full of lovely oozy oil. Yes. Lovely, delicious oil. We're gonna use this to make this dino guy slip. That'll work. I better put it on the floor. Yes, that's what I meant, but I couldn't select the floor. Oh, I can. And never mind. Use it. Bloop. Ha ha ha. And now we wait for comedy. Yes! I thought you were going to puzzle your way out of stuff, not just kill more Tyrannosaurus. Hey, I used an object to kill them. That's wit, that is. Oh, come on. Did we already kill them with just slipping on oil? How ironic that you would be foiled by the crushed remains of your extinct dinosaur brethren. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> we used oil. That's what oil is made of? Dinosaurs? Ancient organic materials. Yep. Oh, that is ironic. Right, let's go find Hitler and get the time stick back. Before he destroys the entire uni- Oh. Verse. What's wrong? What's wrong, guys? The mouse is still humping the doll. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Looks like he's opened up two more time rips already. Great. That's bad, right? Cataclysmic is the word, I think. Well then, I'd better get adventuring. I'll just mark down where all those new rips are on the map, then we can get going. The ruins and construction yard. Where to go first? Don't ask me, I can't handle the responsibility. I was talking to myself. Oh. Um, I actually want to go back to the Tower of London and see if anything's going on in there. I might have missed something. What's left to do in here again? Oh. Hello. Ah. You have returned from the expedition? Yeah, Herr Science Dino. Ich have brought you a very fine specimen. Of prehistoric rocks. Caught in Himmel. Put it in the fridge with the others. Put it faster in the fridge with the others. Oh wow, that's a lot of spoon. I saw a day of the tentacle there. Well, next time, bring me something that is actually useful. A living organism, perhaps, yeah? They tried to capture a bird in the net, but it was too quick for them. They could hardly walk when I left them. I think they have contracted some kind of prehistoric virus. Ah, I tell them to catch animals, and instead, they catch colds. You must bring me a live specimen, no excuses. But it is so dangerous out there. And we are weakened, cowardly expedition dinosaurs. Nicht the butch and manly soldier dinosaurs. The rocks is nice and easy. They do not jump at us or scratch us at our little dinosaur faces. Get me something more interesting, or I'll take it to Hitler himself. Then you'll know true scratches on your face. Yeah, 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 all. Oh, poor dudes. Idiot. I don't know why my German accent sounds always sounds like it's being spoken by a gay dude in bondage, but I guess that's my accent. It's I want this actually. Didn't we have to get this, the lion's roar thing? Hmm. It's a massive fridge. Boringly looking sample jars. Hmm. How did I get this again? The arm? 
Okay, okay. Arm doesn't need tape. Huh. Umbrella? This? Attach the tape to the umbrella? Okay. Seems a bit dangerous. Don't want that, better not combine. Why not? Urgh. I want that. Not long enough. I need to combine the tape with the umbrella. Or maybe not. What else did I have? Combine the tape with everything. No. Combine with everything. With arm. Ar no. But I don't want the magnet. Ah. I don't need a magnetic spanner, eh? We always need one. Actually, thinking about it, that wouldn't be very handy, really. Okay, fine, fine. How the fuck do you do this? Hmm. It's something to do with this. I have to combine it with something. This? Why not? I'm not combining those two again. Why not? But I didn't get the magnet. I want that magnet. I can't reach it from down here. Grasping stealing distance. Huh. That's a lot of samples in there. They have rock samples in them. And emptying them out would be oh so time consuming. Loads and loads of lovely and boring storage jars full of rocks. Rocks. Interestingly shaped, indeed. Look. Thought the paradox, yeah. Yeah, look, it's the day of the ten tentacle folks. This is so cute. It's a massive fridge. Can you smash it? Bam. How the hell do I get that? Interesting. Lines roar, real ale, bottle opener, and fridge magnet. I saw it first, I saw it first. Aw. Aw man, did I just bug out the game? Should I have picked that up earlier? I hope not. Damn it. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. Oh baby. Hold on, I have to check this out folks. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. Maybe it's just the tape that we have to use? Oh, thank god. Infamous D- in physics stands up. The fridge magnet should be attracted to this improbable mass of magneti magnetic tape stuff. Lifting me gently skywards to within reach of the lion's roar fridge magnet cum bottle opener. Is that how science works? It is now. Oh, it does work. Amazing. Indeed, what fascinating science. Not the exciting series of events I was anticipating, I suppose. But the same end result. Still the best at what- I'm still the best at what I do. Exactly, and thank god, I thought I had bu bugged the game. <laughs> awesome. Holy hell, this magnet is strong. Seriously? Holy hell, yes! I reckon it could move the very hands on Big Ben itself. Poppycock. It's that strong, is what I'm saying. Let's do that. <laughs> Where's Big Ben? Let's go to Big Ben. Big, Big Ben. Um, I think there was something to do on the spaceship, I think. Because we didn't exactly do anything there. So, considering that these are bolted shut, these... And I see something that is kind of sticking out there. Look at that. It's a single bent nail. It's the only thing holding the plank in place. Puzzling. I know. <laughs> this is so much puzzle, wow. I can't pull it out with my fingers. I've got some lovely, delicate fingers. I'd better use something out of my inventory. Yep. And guess what, folks? This is why I went back. Use this, this super powerful magnet. Oh, 
Well, it worked. <laughs> Success. Simple and effective and brilliant. The classic fridge magnet cum bottle opener. The most cost effective and altogether satisfying way of getting an old nail out of a bit of plank. Was it the magnet or the bottle opener bit that did it? It was a combination of the two. That's why it was the only object in the universe that could have gotten that nail out. Probably. Probably. Did we get that nail? No, we did not. Ah, this fucking sucks. But now we have access to the rest of the spaceship, guys. Amazing. I know. So cool. Oh. <gasps> Was that our apartment? Hey, skateboard. It's that skateboard. Pick it up. Oh. Okay, so we got the skateboard again, which is amazing. And in the next episode, guys, we're gonna explore the rest of the spaceship. Oh, everything looks pretty decrepit. Thanks for watching.